Okay, so in this video we're going to have a look at cubed numbers. So first of all, I thought I'd explain to you why um, it's called a cubed number. Um, so obviously you know that a squared number um, is called a square number because when you have your square, you can do two times two, which will, is useful for area. Um, cube numbers are quite useful for volume. So obviously this time we've still got our square, if you look at my sides here, so we've still got our five times five. But then this time it's 3D, it's a 3D cube, so we have to then extend it out as well. So now we've got 5 times 5 times 5, and it's, as you can see here, we've got 5 cubed, or 5 to the power of 3. So expanding that into a calculation, it's 5 times 5 times 5. And some people might see that as, right, 5, 10, 15. Not quite, because what you've done there is you've actually only done 5 times 3. So with questions like this, you have to break them down. So first of all, work out the square. So let's just do this part first. So five times five is 25. So that's step one. My next part is to drag that down and I now need to do 25 times five. Well, I know that 25 times four is 100. And then I can just add on another 25, which will give me 125. So 125 is my cubed number. That is my answer to five cubed, five times five times five.